morning, Quad Copter 101, and what I got for you today is a review of a new racer. The well, it's I think it's been out for a little bit now. <laughs> this is the Furry B P180. What is the Furry B P180? Well, it's available in Bind and Fly and PMP. Uh, available in Bind and Fly with uh, Free Sky, uh, Fly Sky, and PMP versions of this. Uh, if you want to put your own transmitter in there, a lot of people might want to do that. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, things about this Quad Copter, it is a well, it does have a pretty good specs for it you know it has 700 TVO camera it has a uh, 40 channel FPV transmitter selectable from 25 to uh, 200 milliwatts um, it has 30 amp e or 30 amp ESC's 4 in 1 uh, D or no I'm sorry here they are here they're not 4 in 1 <laughs> but they are 30 amp ESC's on each arm um, it has 2300 uh, 2205 2300 uh, kV motors so should give it lots of oomph um, other things about it, it has, here's its bind switch. <laughs> it's dangling out the back here, so you, you don't have to go find a little pin to, to, find, to activate the bind switch. You just hold this down while plugging in the battery to enter into bind mode on this. So, it's relatively easy to enter into to bind mode. But there's one thing that, uh, let's, oh, and it's got a Pagoda antenna, you know, for uh, more omnidirectional transmission from the antenna, especially for extreme yanking and banking. And I think I did mention it has a 700 TVL camera up front there, so it has a pretty darn good camera. And uh, that's about it. Now let's talk about the, the downsides of this thing. Um, it has a, an old version of uh, Clean Flight on here. It's an F3 flight control board in here with uh, Clean Flight 1.11.0. So if you want to use this or update it, and let's talk about updating <laughs> that flight control board. Um, it comes with a micro USB adapter that you need to plug plug in, and the wiring of how to plug that, uh, put that all together, is not provided. Actually, there's no instructions provided with this quadcopter. You have to go online and figure it out yourself, um, based on uh, research on it online, and based on your own knowledge of this. But anyways, you plug the adapter into this port here. And um, then you were able to get in there and uh, access clean flight to uh, adjust any uh, particular settings of this. And I had to go in to mine because I wanted to use switches on this on my free sky transmitter in particular I wanted to set this to angle this to horizon and this to acro and to also arm it uh, like so and also put beeper control there and to be able to do that I need to use clean flight. Now this being clean flight 1.11.0 uh, if you really want to just use the original version of this and I'm going to use it today just to demonstrate how it flies out of the box but you can you know update and put uh, beta flight on here if you wish and I would recommend that in the future to put on beta flight onto yours but I'm going to fly it just out of the box to show how it flies out of the box so that is about it so let's go into the flight of the P180 and see how it performs hope you enjoy this flight Okay, this will be the first flight of the P-180. Uh, we're going to fly at an angle and horizon, then I'm going to switch to acro right after that. So, arming the motors. Okay, they start armed like uh, in, I'm sorry, they start in uh, idle. So, let's take off in idle and give it a throttle. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to fly this. Not the way it is set up right now. i got to find uh, better fl uh, pits for that. But look at that sh shimmy shake. Look at that shimmy shake. Well, I don't think it's better pits. I think i got to uh, actually uh, boot up uh, a better version of... Actually, put beta flight on this because this is not flyable like this. <laughs> not flyable like that with a shimmy shake. <laughs> Actually, it's dangerous to fly it like that. So I am going to put it back on the deck and see about updating beta flight on this. So I hope you enjoyed that short part of this flight. Okay, it's a week later. I'm back here. I couldn't fly again last week because uh, it was the next day after that was weekdays. And again, this area here, I can't fly during the weekdays. But it's another weekend. And here we are back again with the uh, P180 from Furry Bee. And what I've done 
in the past week, it was real simple. I, all I did was, uh, this could not fly with the, well, it could fly with its clean flight, but it was very, very wobbly with the old version of clean flight. So what I did was I just uh, flashed beta flight, the latest version of beta flight to it with its uh, stock settings. I haven't adjusted any PIDs in there, so we're just using the beta flight uh, 3.1.7. I flashed it to the Seriously Pro Racing F3 flight control board. Remember, you got to select the exact board that you're flashing it to. There's no boot pins or there's no uh, boot button on this board, so you don't have to worry about that. It's just a simple flash um, through the UART uh, one port there. And um, that's it. I just have the uh, standard settings in there. I did have to go into the configurator because I did not, I forgot to copy my settings over. And what I did was, um, I did, you have to set up UART 3 for the Tyrannus board here so uh, that you'll receive inputs from your uh, uh, transmitter. And also, I did have to reset the channel mapping to TAER for mine uh, to work properly on the receiver settings. And uh, I Oh, and also I reset the mode switches, so that's about it, you know, uh, the mode switches on my transmitter. So we should be good to go. Let's see how the P180 works with just a uh, uh, Betaflight 3.1.7 uh, base settings, uh, base PIDs. So hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, we are ready to go. Uh, first thing I'm going to fly at line of sight, i got to set the angle and going to beeper and then to arm. We are armed. And again, I also turned off... Um, it's spinning in idle. Uh, I don't like that in particular. I, I like my props to be off when I got the throttle down. So let's go up and fly it around in angle mode first, see how if, if, the, if it's more stable with the newer version of Betaflight. Yeah, that wobble's gone. That's much better. We got a bit of a breeze today, so I got to take that into account. But let's bring it in here first off, bring it in close, and then God, a heck of a lot of oomph there and I felt that breeze from that thing as it went up there <laughs> very good fan effect <laughs> so one more bring it in close a lot of punch okay let's go right into acro on this thing see how it performs in acro beta flight stock settings are great right out of the box no fiddling with them it, well at least for angle mode but let's see how it flies I <laughs> don't want to hit that too hard, but I did. Okay, so let's go up for a flight. Okay, it's the next day, and before we go into this acro flight, let me explain a few things here. You'll notice that now I have two bladed props on here, and also I have put a beeper on the side of this thing. Um, the reason for the two blade, or let me go over the beeper first. Uh, yesterday I did that acro flight, and unfortunately I noticed that the voltage reading from this was going to zero almost immediately well you know going down to where I should land almost immediately well I took it home or actually I brought it in for a landing and during that landing this thing <laughs> I you know I did my normal quadcopter 101 uh, carrier landing approach and carrier landing and it it likes to, this one likes to tumble on those type of landings so I don't recommend doing that you know doing a nice vertical landing with this one because once I tumbled you know I dinged up one of my propellers and you, they, you don't get spares in uh, spare three bladed props you get a spare two bladed props with this and also noticed I dinged up my uh, pagoda antenna in that landing but anyways I took it home and I you know checked the voltage reading on the OSD versus my voltmeter and found that the OSD reading on screen display reading was way off okay it was inaccurate and I should have just ignored those values that I was getting yesterday. And for today's flight, I am going to be flying with the beeper instead to alert me to what the voltage is. And we're, now let's just go right into that acro flight, promised acro flight, except with two bladed props today. So hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, welcome back. Um, how do you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> okay, let's go into this. This will be actually my second or third flight of this thing in acro. However, the first one with two bladed props so that I've done. Um, let's go right into it. First off, notice notice the voltage reading I'm getting on that. That reading is wrong. I got my, again, I got that $3 uh, voltage um, alarm attached there, and that's going to alert me when we reach low voltage. The low voltage reading in the lower left corner on the on-screen on display is wrong. Okay, let's go arm this first. We are armed, and yeah, let's go to acro. Selecting acro. We are in Echo, and let's go up and see how this thing flies. Let me adjust this a bit. Hope you enjoy this flight. 
Okay, this is with two bladed props. Let's do this yesterday with three bladed props. We're pretty good with three bladed. And notice right away that I have to give it a lot more uh, throttle to get it into the air. Let's try it, turn it around. Doesn't have the punch that it had with the two with the tri blades. Let's try this. Okay, and that turned out nice. Some people say that when you fly with three blades, you get longer flight time, or two blades, you get longer flight time than three blades because three blades provide more um, drag. I don't know about that. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed a lot more punch with this yesterday with the three bladed props. And just going over the desert, see how it performs. Going back up again. I'm doing that. Okay. I got the handle of it now with two blades. Again, it feels a lot different than with three blades. Let's try a low or a high speed pass down the road. Yeah, that's, that wasn't too high speed. Let's try that again. We'll go the other way. <laughs> I noticed some vibrations. A little bit of jello going up again. Again, I'm a, oh, look at the voltage now. Now the voltage is saying we're at 15.5 volts. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with that. Whoa, <laughs> that come down too close. We're way out there too. Coming back down. Yeah, without the, uh, I like the three-bladed flying. Two-bladed flying is, a little more oomphy, not oomphy, uh, less oomphy. But there we go. It's the P180. Let's see if I can turn it fast with two blades. Let's go across the desert with it now. Low and fast. Trying to get a little more speed, more speed, more speed, more speed. Sorry, I'm going to go run. My wife doesn't like to go behind us because it gives her dizzy, especially when you got to look at the sun. <laughs> but yeah, I'm seeing lots of jello with the two bladed props. I didn't see as much jello with the three bladed props as yesterday. But nobody's reviewed this yet, I don't believe, with the two bladed props. I, the reviews I seen were all three bladed. But these are the two bladed props when they come with it. Again, we're waiting for a beeper. Ah! <laughs> yeah, two blades. I don't recommend flying this with two bladed props. It just, uh, actually I should check it after that. We're gonna fly it until the beeper beeps. Seems to be in one piece. Still flying. <laughs> Yeah, the two blades that come with it, don't use them. <laughs> Just use the three blades. How's it look? <laughs> it looks in one piece? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> well, it's got that foam padding on the battery. It's a good thing it does have that foam padding on the battery. Uh, I heard a beep there. Uh. That was probably... Uh, range on my transfer saying we were probably exceeding its range I'm gonna keep it close enough for the remainder of the flight so you can see it yeah lots of jello on this not sure why again probably because we're because we're using two blade of props <laughs> Until we hear a beep from the uh, beeper, and I got attached. You know those little beepers—they're only two, two and a half dollars, three dollars. So 
a little bit more maybe of 350 on Amazon. Uh, but yeah, they do. Sh they sure do come in handy, folks. Especially if you got a quad cupter that you, you're not sure about its voltage reading. You can just slap it on and all you do is you plug in the uh, balance plug on the back of it and you got yourself a warning beeper for low voltage. And you Velcro it to the battery and away you go. So again, I'm going to fly this until I hear that beep. But uh, yeah, I guess I am getting a lot of flight time with it with two bladed prop. Okay, there goes that beep that you hear it means I was exceeding its range here. Um, I haven't extended its antennas. Its antennas are still inside. Okay, there's the beeper. Hold on, let's go to angle mode. Today I'm gonna land in angle mode. So it prevents doing any more damage to it. Let me go over and find the uh, landing pad. There, close enough. You're not close enough. <laughs> Thank you. I'm <laughs> You're too far away. <laughs> I hear it. Well, another thing about that low voltage beeper. Notice. Notice how uh, you can find your quadcopter easy. That thing is so loud. I strongly recommend people buy these uh, low volt beepers. Oh, it's, it's beepers going off too. It has its own beeper. Hear that? It has a low voltage warning too. However, this one's much louder. <laughs> so let's unbutton it and check it over real quick because that hard land, or yeah, it was a hard vertical landing and went slapped down on that. Uh, but looking at it, um, it's fine. Didn't incur any damage. So all in all, uh, it, it did fly much better with the three bladed props, I'm sorry. Uh, but um, even with two bladed, it did the two bladed props gave you a longer flight time, I guess. Um, it was flying pretty good for a lo good long time. But all in all, um, you know, this particular quadcopter needs some tuning once you get it. Uh, recommend you got to get rid of that clean flight, remember, and flash it with beta flight. Um, it becomes a much better flyer <laughs> once you put beta flight on this again. The original version of clean flight just did not work. It had wobbles. Um, additionally, the on-screen display, you know, I don't know if that was a problem because of my flashing beta flight, uh, but I checked the values, the VBAT values, and they all match other quadcopters that I got, but uh, I'm not sure why I was, I was having problems with uh, uh, on-screen display of you know being inaccurate um, all in all uh, this is again the p180 from furry bee so i hope you enjoyed this flight this is quadcopter 101 signing out <laughs>